makes me crazy. I dream of trying to play with Gazing on days and contagious show my baby. We know each other like the back of our hands. Understand there's no mistake and I'm taking this show my dream. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. Back in the building. Back in effect. Back, back like, like we never, never left. left. Hey, we got a good one. We got a good one. <laughs> That's all I can say. We got a good one. This one's been highly, highly requested with Jethro Tull. Yeah. The title good. of this one is Aqua Lung. Aqua Lung. But hey, Asia, I've been saying for a while we need to get around to Jethro Tull. <laughs> I mean, just pull one, one up and just kind of see what, what, what we, what, what we got going on. I think you know what we've saying? done like one other G, uh, Jethro Tull song uh, this reaction. One? I think one. I think just the only okay. one. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. So yeah. Yeah, it's been um, a while. It's been a very long time since we've gotten into them. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Join the family. Pull on up, y'all. Yeah. Another pull-up session. For Asian <laughs> BJ, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it. Here we go. Sitting on the park bench. I little girls with bad Enjoying like the storytelling that Jeff Rotto is doing in his own too. Yeah. Just as far as how he just like telling his story. Uh like Aqua Lung. I never heard of like the term Aqua Lung. Aqua Lung. He said Aqua Lung. That's how he's saying it. Aqua Lung? Yeah. I would think Aqua Lung too. But he just said Aqua Lung. And I was like Aqua Lung. Aqua Lung? Okay. Now I I thought he was saying Aqua for a second, but it's Aqua. A he said Aqua Lung. Okay, okay. Son, you see it's a good thing. 
what is it with like <laughs> the songs we're listening to today like have all these switch ups in the middle of the song oh, like, like, like all these little intricate like, like change ups and stuff like definitely that definitely different dynamics yeah. in, in this song as well like once again is that, that must be like a popular thing like within the rock genre that they kind of change it up like that yeah um, sometimes there's a lot of music you know what I mean and, and when we're you know going through that recording process like you gotta add a lot of different elements, you know? Yeah. Sometimes you get, like, a lot more drums, and you get, like, the, you know, you, you always got to have a nice little solo in there for the guitar. Yeah. So sometimes it does get stretched out a little bit more, but majority of the arrangements of, like, a lot of the rock songs, they definitely have, like, you know, a couple of verses. They have, like, a little transition in there. Yeah. Not all of them do, but, but a lot of them do. Do, When you okay. start going into, like, like the uh, the guitar solos and mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. Aqualung, my friend, don't you start away anything. Your poor old sod, you see, it's only me. different i mean like the dynamic in this the actual guitar of this like I, I i actually enjoyed this because of the different this dynamic i feel like i'm kind of you know more likely to listen to when it doesn't switch up a whole whole lot in the song but more so like when the when the centerpiece of it all is like you know that guitar sound like just to kind of like yeah we can play too you know what i'm saying but I enjoyed this. It wasn't what I was expecting, no. Yeah, yeah, because I'm still trying to figure out like the Aqualung part. Yeah. The only part I know, like Aqualung, is what like that has something to do with like Aqualung, like, like snorkeling equipment or something like going underwater. I only and I heard him say something about like being like a dead duck or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I still was trying to get that breakdown in regards to Aqualung. Like yeah, and y'all help me out if, if if anybody out there that that's watching right now that knows more detail in regards to like Jethro Tull and this particular song, you know, chime in and dial in with us and just let us know a little bit more deeper in regards to what he's saying in regards to Aqualung. I wonder if this is one of the ones that you have to, maybe maybe we should have watched the video, if there's a video Be to this. Because the only thing I could really think of is that he was talking about like this scraggler guy that's, that's kind of like homeless, that's kind of walking yep. around. That's the only thing that I could really make out for, but I couldn't really connect the dots. That's what I you know was what about I'm to saying? say. I was like, for some reason, I feel like he's almost describing like a personality type, like a like he's describing someone. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But but I don't know what I don't know if that's what an aqualung is. Right. Like. Yeah. And I, like I said, I'm not even for really finna even like dive <laughs> into it to sit here and say what I you know what I mean in regards to the title of the song. Uh, but in regards to the storytelling, because I enjoy like the story part of what he yeah. was saying and just trying to follow him. But sitting on he a definitely, park bench, he definitely he definitely <laughs> sounded like like a like he was describing like describing a scraggly guy. Maybe yeah, like, like a somebody rambler, that's just sitting around like um, watching everything that's going a on. Hobo, yeah, you know what I mean? a homeless guy. Yeah, with his greasy fingers and looking at five girls with bad intent. 
Right, and 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 with him, you know, he still has like the shame on his face of like losing love. You know, being a, being a person who's lost love too. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know how all that ties into it. But yeah, I definitely tap into us in regards to this song and just kind of like dig a little deeper and just let us know what the meaning is. Let us know if you like the song and uh, also suggest any other songs by Jeff Rotol as maybe, well. Maybe maybe it's the the. Ad- the aspect of like what other people that may be standing around might be thinking of him, like the the like the hobo person that you are referring to, like mm-hmm. the person he's describing. Maybe that maybe that's being narrated by someone else. On maybe the outside it's from looking a, at a, like a perspective of someone that's looking at someone like that. You know what I mean? Like that's what they would describing it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not either. Mm-hmm. I give up, y'all. So, <laughs> if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Join the family if you haven't already. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Much love, y'all. We appreciate y'all for pulling up. Yeah. Bye. Dusting your body, boy, I'm addicted. Insisting commitment, predicted your insane.